The Romans ruled Britain for nearly 400 years. During that time, all aspects of society, whether it was architecture and building, food, clothing and fashion, or religion, were moulded in their image. They also created a remarkable 2,000 mile network of roads that connected every point of their province of Britannia. Then, in 410 AD, Emperor Honorius told the Romano-British cities to look to their own defences, and with that, the Romans steadily withdrew their legions to defend Rome against the invading barbarian hordes. It was all in vain, of course, because Rome collapsed and vanished like virtually every other empire has done throughout history. Within a century, most traces of Roman culture had all but disappeared from the British Isles. Today, surviving vestiges of Roman rule in Britain, such as this villa at North Lee in Oxfordshire, Hadrian's Wall in Northern England, and the Roman baths that gave the city of Bath its name, are all that remain to show the thousands of visitors what a remarkable society this was. But if you know where to look, there are still traces of the Romans hidden in plain view all over the British Isles. An excellent example of this is the Portway seen here near Kingsclere in Hampshire. Now a quiet country lane, this is one of the few surviving sections of an important Roman road running from London or Londinium to Durnavaria, now known as Dorchester, the county town of Dorset and many other Roman roads have survived intact to become modern routeways, such as the Foss Way seen here near Sirencester, which runs from Lincoln or Lindum in the northeast to Exeter or Isca in the southwest. Or the A340 seen here near Anglefield in Berkshire. Like all Roman roads, this one is as straight as it possibly can be, which is another clue to the road's Roman origins. Follow it for a few miles and you can even see this Roman milestone near the Bull Pub in Streetly. It's indeed a tribute to the skill of the Roman engineers that the majority of these roads are still in use nearly 2,000 years after they were built. Another clue to Roman occupation lies in the names of towns and cities such as Dorchester or Bista Chester or Cester, deriving from the Latin words castrum or castra, meaning fortified town or fort. In many cases, little or no trace of Roman habitation can now be found in their former settlements, such as here in Dorchester on Thames, and even more dramatically at Alchester, just outside Bicester in Oxfordshire, once an important garrison at a Roman crossroads has now vanished completely beneath these fields. But there are places where the Romans are much more visible, and the village of Silchester in Hampshire is one of these. Lying between the towns of Reading and Basingstoke, it hosts the remains of the important Roman city of Caleva Atrobatum. Whilst the city itself is now hidden under fields, its defensive wall still stands, and the amphitheatre is in a state of remarkable preservation. It's now hard to believe that this was a centre rivalling London in importance with major roads such as the Portway radiating out like spokes on a wheel. That Roman road near Englefield started here, passing through the Northern Gate, whilst this unassuming country lane leading to Caleva was the main road to London and equivalent to a modern motorway. In succeeding centuries, superstitious locals, ignorant of their Roman forebears, named it the Devil's Highway, believing only Lucifer could build such a straight road. Caleva finally died sometime between the 6th and 7th centuries. Quite why this was, whilst other Roman cities such as Winchester survived and thrived, remains a tantalising mystery. 
Extensive excavations by Reading University have so far failed to provide the answer to this. The beauty of this site, hidden away in the Hampshire countryside, is that it's free and open for all to visit, whether just to walk the dog or feel the vibes of the lost world of ancient Rome. A few miles west is yet another beautiful and vivid example of the Romano-British world which was nearly lost forever. Just outside the town of Hungerford is Littlecote House, where Henry VIII wooed Jane Seymour. And that royal romance is celebrated by these stained glass windows in the house. But long before that, in about 200 AD, the Romans built this substantial farm villa on the banks of the Kennet River nearby. And its foundations can still be seen in the grounds of the Littlecote estate. The jewel of this site is undoubtedly the Orpheus mosaic, first discovered in the 18th century and then lost again for 200 years. Rediscovered in 1978, it was then restored, bringing this beautiful work of art back to life. It's thought this site had three separate lives, first as a military encampment, then as a farm, and finally as a temple to the gods of Orpheus, Bacchus and Apollo. Today, like Silchester, it serves as a silent reminder that even the greatest civilizations have a finite life. <laughs>